what I'm going to do, which is even really weirder, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together with just part of that mag. Lo and behold, here's the armature, and the magnet here is fractured. I've had this happen on one that went underwater in Katrina. This particular one's 20 years old. And Okay, what I've been doing is trying to pull the armature out of here. Here's the chunks. You could glue these on. I've experimented in the past. You've got to go through and use a really good, say, epoxy or something, and use a, a C-clamp and some some type of wood or something to hold that in there. Um, it's really difficult to do because these pieces that uh, have come off don't like to go together where they came apart. You can see here where it's been rubbing on the armatures rubbed on there. That's a ceramic magnet. Here's how the piece goes together. If you're on Desert Island, you can go ahead and just use a few of the chunks. Now, what I'm going to do, which is even really weirder, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together with just part of that magnet and just see if that, that works like that. I don't know if that guy's loose or not. Is he bonded on there? to try to put this back together. Now this armature is really hot. I can barely hold it because it's been rubbing. Rubbing actually on stator magnets. There's the chunks. Boy, that wasn't the most graceful way to put that in. You gotta be careful you don't nick something. So I'm going to put this back together and see if it works with just part of the magnets on there. Okay, there's the bearing in there. That looks like the same bearing that's on a car alternator. That's actually got a ball bearing. What I've done is gone in here with the pocket knife and just get past the seal just a hair. And I've taken some motor oil, just got in there past the seal. You can also try to just pry the seal off, but just want to get some a little bit of oil in there. Probably hasn't been oil for 20 years. Okay, this is the little protector deal. It's got a couple little keys on there. As it go in little features there we go here's the motor not as quick as I used to be on this inspected by number two that's who mr. monk liked that's why this motor lasts so long there's a key here, here, there's also a little plastic doodad to get that to go in there. Now the question is, is this actually going to run or not? Okay, restarted here. Had this in backwards. This was okay. I went ahead and put the deeper part up. I think I had it backwards last time. So I'm put this on. Get it in the key here. This piece was not, ledge wasn't sitting and I had it reversed last time. And so it was dragging Still, I don't know if this is going to work. Get part of the ceramic magnet removed. Just don't want 
go on that way. This is not how normally this thing is built. That's why it's just kind of aggravating what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure this key goes in there, but it sure doesn't want to fit in there that well. If I grab the armature here, it still feels like it's dragging. Got this assembled with what's left of the magnets, and you can hear it's still rubbing on one of the ceramics. Clearance isn't much, but if I go through here and with the bottom grab the shaft the motor, so go through and Put the brushes back just for kicks. There's a brush. Goes against the armature like that. This wire just kind of taps in place. The holder just kind of goes in there like that. Is going like this. Nope. There's a little feature. Goes on here like that. So all this is doing is just putting a brush on the other holder on. I've never actually ever replaced some any brushes on a electric mower. This is tw the 20 year old brush. So I guess it's a fairly robust design. There's the brush wire. This is a little piece here. And I just took this apart to it just kind of sits in here like that. rectangular piece is just going to sit on top. There's just one little screw that goes on here. Again, I just took this apart just to verify that it was the rotor dragging. You can pull the brushes off, a little Phillips screw, you can verify that uh, Now when I pulled the top of this, there was a bunch of crap in here, which isn't the best of thing. If you take off the plastic thing, you'll get... That's still going to be able to cut grass. I'm running this thing with not the whole stator on there. You can also get to where it just has a few chips that are on there dragging and after a while it'll clean itself out. Smell the ground up magnet. I'm going to unplug it and go over here. Zoom back. I'm actually going to go through and feel how the 
shaft goes on this thing here. Got that tightened up. We're going to go back and cut grass. Now that doesn't feel as bad. So, might be I just ground off enough that it might last another season. It might go out in a week or two. So I'm running on one full ceramic and the other one's got about probably half. The question is, in the other one, did it debond completely, or did just just this part that goes on there, and it just just got some crap that it's getting off? But we've got this unplugged, of course. Use this as a bush hog. So there you go. That's kind of a rig job. We've got another one I'm going to bring up here in the country, but. This is the one that we're going to use to get the job done. In this particular top here, I just cut these little things off to get it on and off quicker. Here, it's got two screws to tap in to hold that on. The magnets taken out of the stator. Actually sounds fairly decent for the go with the mower in crippled mode, part of the straight stator gone. This is a 400. This is a 100 foot 12 gauge cord. This is another 12 gauge cord. It's 100 feet. And then this hooks up to. GFI socket. It's fed by a number eight aluminum. It's either a six or an eight. It's about 400 feet. So I got a little bit of a voltage drop. I need to kind of boost it up. It's not bad. Where's the mower? So what you want to do cutting thick stuff is have a discharge to one side, wear safety glasses. I've got the chute disconnected, just won't clog as much and I'll wear safety glasses here. Thick boots so you don't get hit by shrapnel. I'm trying to get a path through here. There's the mower. Kind of abusing it. You take small cuts. Small 
trees. Got a path cut, see. Try to push the mowed stuff into the clear area to reduce the load on the mower. Some of the stuff I'm cutting is really kind of weird. This is giant brambles with stickers on it. A lot of the big stuff will lay over. So you have to cut it like twice if you're a purist or just leave it there. Yeah, the crippled motor mower is still running. <laughs> 